Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 40 of Fairy Tale Life. And I am sad to say this is the last part of Fairy Tale Life. This is also my second time recording this. I was actually recorded it the first time, got to the end. My dad is doing some work around the house and he was messing with the power switches and cut off the power. So the last half of my video, I couldn't even get it. So I have to re-record the entire thing. So if I sound a bit frustrated in this, I do apologize. I'm going to try my best not to. Anyway, we are here with the final part with our lovely, lovely vet Simone on... Winterfest. So it is nice something in the morning. Her entire family is up. She is getting ready to take Genesis downstairs to get some food because homegirl woke up super hungry. Miguel is over here getting himself ready for the day. I'm going to actually have him once he's finished taking a shower to go ahead and make a grand meal because him and Simone are not currently hungry. I think because I had them have dinner really late the night before i can't remember <laughs> um so he's gonna go ahead and make that but genesis is starving so simone needs to feed her okay taking her down to her high chair um i have done some work off screen i sold simone's initial clinic that she got when she first moved to Brittleton Bay. Simberry Vet Clinic is officially sold. Um, that's why their funds are up. We have only Brittleton Papa still under our belt at the moment and it's currently closed. As, as a matter of fact, I don't think I can hire anybody because, right, we need to be on the lot, but we will, I will be hiring back, um, Miguel and Sapria along the way. What did you give her to eat? Okay, you did give her some food. Um, let's, Go ahead and turn on some winter, um, what is it called? Winter holiday or is it winter fest music? Uh, turn on, uh, make it feel really like winter holiday, right? Okay, and let's, um, you most likely need to go potty. Go potty. Send Dakota out to go use the bathroom. Like, I, like puppies and doggies, I understand that it's freezing and snowing outside, but you gotta go. No, Grayson, we're not doing this with you. Bye. Cause you didn't want to come to our party and now you want to keep contesting, contacting us to go out for other events. And it is day 11 of 14. That TV is loud. I feel like I need to readjust my game volume again because I've noticed that lately. Anyway, day 11 of 14 and it's, today's forecast is a chance of snow and it's currently freezing and cloudy. You can sit, sweets. Or is Genesis finished eating because you might need to be let out? Yes, she does. Come and let her out of this high chair before she has a fit. And it seems like she was calling you to take her out of the chair already. Okay, yes, let's let her out and let's try to take care of some of our lovely um, winter fest traditions, which Simone loves everything about it but Father Winter. Okay. All right. Because this child is a whole mess. So <laughs> let me pause. Uh, Tyler Care, change her outfit and let's put her into something cute and comfy. We'll put her in that and then we will hug her lovingly because it is winter fest. Give her all of the love. Let's see what you want to do. Um, she don't need to go to sleep just yet. I know you want to send her off to bed already because she is a handful, but let's not. Um, brighten her day because you didn't hug her lovingly like I asked. Um, check on her. I was about to say, are we not going to do anything I asked? No. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're done. We're done. Absolutely not. You are not putting her back in the high chair. Why do y'all continue to do that? I had to deal with this the last time I recorded this. No. <sighs> Action. Back to group. Go here together. Like, when we want the toddlers in the high chair, y'all don't put them in there. When we don't want them in the high chair, y'all put them in there. Like, I'm gonna need for y'all to follow through with what your owners tell you to do. If we don't want the towel in the high chair, don't put them in the high chair. Thank you. Okay. Now, check on her because let's see what she needs. Did you go tinkle, Dakota? Because you still got red on you. I don't know what's going on. 
What did you put on? Why are you shirtless, sir? Did you put on your shirt that I have not fixed your outfits for? Yes, you did. And that's where I went in and fixed his outfits. But I guess I did not. Let's put on some outfit with some clothing, sir. It is in the middle of winter. It is not like it's the middle of summer and it's a heat wave and you got no shirt on in the house. Put on some clothes. All right. Are we talking to our child? Please be nice to me, guys. Please be nice to me. No, do not. She doesn't need anything. You know what you could go do, sweets? Because you have no reason to go back into the high chair. Go pee. Good job. Getting on my nerves. I said no. Put her down. Thank you. Where's Dakota? Why is she still? Ask her what's wrong. Um, play with her, because I don't know why she's still red, though. Does she need to eat? I love the slowness we got going on. What's going on? Oh, yeah, there we go. What's wrong? It's a little laggy. What's going on? There we go. I don't know what is going on with Dakota, why she's not happy, but... We will deal. Brooke, I'm sorry. Miguel needs to eat. He doesn't have to, actually, technically. <laughs> He's not currently hungry. So I guess we can take the doggies out on a walk. Um, Take Brooke out on a walk because they're going to continue to annoy us. Give her a treat first. And then we will... No, not training. Sorry. Pet care. Go on a walk. Go on a short walk. There we go. And Simone will stay home with Genesis. There we go. Look at them being cute in front of the fireplace. What's wrong? Well, I told you to go body two hours ago. Um, is it under pet care? I forgot already that fast. Like, I told you to go body. Like, sis, get it together. Like I said, I know it's snow outside, but it's not currently snowing. You can go outside to use the bathroom. All right, let's see. What else do we need to do? I want to wait for Miguel to come back before we have breakfast. Let them have breakfast together. Um, let's change the song unless you have a little dance session with your daughter. Dance together. From Miguel, did you not switch into your winter wear, sir? Because if I get a notification about you freezing to death, it's going to be on your own. Right, because ain't nobody tell you to go on a walk without putting on your winter wear. Like, you don't know to put on. Right, you don't. Right, see, we would have gotten a whole notification about he getting ready to die. And I'm trying to figure out why. Ew, I didn't mean to. <laughs> that pee was super loud. Dang, Brooks. You really had to go, Puddin. Oh, look at them having a cute mommy-daughter time. Get it. Break it down. This song doesn't sound like a really good dance winter song, though. Sounds like Sugar Plum Fairies. Oh, I didn't mean to click that again. I'm in that song. Next song. Sounds like the dance of the Sugar Plum, sugar plum Fairies. You don't really dance to that one? I love how we're grabbing present piles. What did I just do with that? Did I put it in her inventory? Wow, you got a whole lot of stuff in your inventory. You need to take care of sweets. Which is fine, because I think they can only open one present pile anyway, so that's cool. Next song. There we go. That's a little bit better for dancing. A little bit better, but not a whole lot, but we'll work with it. The other one just sounds too much like the, <laughs> the Nutcracker musical. All right, go ahead, Simone. Reach. You just not reaching level four dancing? Oh, sweet. That means I didn't get you out much. <laughs> I really didn't. Because you spent a lot of time with toddlers. And then she moved out here because her stepmom is crazy. Um, Hug her lovingly. Let's talk to her. Is No, Miguel's not back yet. And speaking of her stepmom being crazy, hopefully my pre-play still went through for what I did before. Ivy should have passed away because she got what she deserved. They are still listed as enemies and despised, of course, because hello, not happening. Oh, what is the issue? What are you doing? Was she being rude to her mother?
Oh, we can't even tell her to do anything? What is going on? Ask if she's good or bad. Like, she's being real testy. And I love how nothing is loading in. We don't need to apologize to her. I'm trying to figure out what's this toddler's problem. Um, check on her. Is Miguel back? He is. And it's like whole dinner time. Queen, cu Queen Cupcake, I can't do nothing for you, sweetie. You're going to have to find the pet bowl on your own. Because I tried to call you to meal, but my game won't let me. All right. Let's see. Genesis probably needs some more food again anyway. She does. So now they can have a grand breakfast together. Call to grand meal. And who knows, they might the, take the next four hours to eat. So <laughs> they'll be done by the time Father Winter arrives. And you could change out of this now. Because, see? Change out of this. Because I don't know why you... <sighs> Put that on. There we go. Because you don't know how to change your outfits. Where are you going? You got a dining table. Yeah, come and sit at the table. It because I think Genesis is gonna sit right in the kitchen or she's still stumbling. Why didn't you go grab a plate? Come in, grab a serving, and come sit down, please. Because y'all like to stress me out. Oh, you can come in here and sit and eat with Brooke or not because Brooke's walking away. Y'all gonna leave the poor child by herself? Okay, Brooke went to get something to eat. Um, let me have her call Dakota over so Dakota can be over here with her while she eats. She's like, I'm not going to sit by myself. Okay, there we go. And these cuties over here. Oh, what y'all over here being fresh for? <laughs> um, sing about Winterfest. Oh, they're being, this is a cute, cute little screenshot. Oh, look at the babies. Who I plan to try for a baby as well before we end this last part. Um, now you guys probably won't get to see the baby, but um, I've done it with my past LPs that have ended. I will do. I plan to do a current household after the fact, which is like kind of giving you guys a quick update on them. Ooh, because a lot of my families I've come to love over the course of the LP and still want to play with after the LP is over. Which I tend to do so I can give you guys an update. Share Winterfest spirit. And so you can guys can see if she ends up pregnant. I'm hoping she does. Okay, we're good. And well, once they finish the grand meal, they'll take care of that tradition. Miguel likes to be festive. So he needs to do like belly laughs and acts and all that good stuff. Oh, kiss under the mistletoe. Yes. Friendly. Can we get some interactions? No, leave Brooke alone. I want you to talk to your wife. Can we get some interactions that are geared toward being festive? Other than give her a Winterfest gift. I want to do some other things. Why are you just... Are we... Love it. Miguel, you are killing me today, sir. You really are. You had like one last bite and you were just sitting there. What are we doing? None of the stuff I'm doing is going through. My sons are doing their own thing. I might as well just sit here and let y'all do what y'all want to do. Because listening to little old me is not working out for you guys. Okay. Oh, we can ask Genesis if she's good or bad. Dakota, you know where your food bowl is. Uh, oh, belly laugh. There we go. Belly laugh with your daughter. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Um, what else? Hold on. My Sims love to. Oh, look at her playing with Brooke. Oh, that is cute. Why are you talking about toilets with your dog? Um, let's see. What else? What else? Ask if she's good or bad. She's been a little bit of a both because she's a handful. For. See, I'm telling you, this little girl is throwing a whole lot of fits and she wants presents. I don't think so. 
You made your way to the coffee pot. I'm gonna delete that coffee pot because anybody else is having this issue where their sins are constantly going toward coffee pots. I'm gonna stop putting like the little extra appliances in this house because in my sins' houses. Because what is it? The popcorn maker, the coffee pot, it's something else. And the ice cream machine, y'all constantly go to and continue to use when you don't need any of the things. Because are you tired enough for coffee, sis? No. So, I don't know why you made a full pot of coffee. I know y'all got a wild toddler, but y'all not exhausted yet. Okay, look at the having father-daughter conversation. I don't know why the option to apologize keeps coming up. When she is the one that's getting testy. Was the joke good? Because y'all laughing kind of hard. Is it almost? No, we got like still two more hours before Father Winter comes. Oh, you know what? While Miguel is home, you can take Dakota on a walk. Um, oh, we have vet treats? What is the vet treat? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to age her down. <laughs> um, sorry, Dad. Uh, pet her. And she wants to go on a walk anyway. Can I? There we go. And let's go ahead. I was like, what the? Oh. <laughs> Uh, go on a walk, go on a short walk. Do you need a nap, Puddin? You kind of do. So let's go ahead and take a nap until Father Winter arrives. Go take a nap. And let's see. Well, y'all could have went outside and play, but it's kind of cloudy and it's not really sunny. Miguel, you know what you can do? You can clean out the spoiled food <laughs> and fill some pet bowls. Um, clean out spoiled food. Fill. Let's see, any other bowls need to be filled? No, we're good. Well, this one could be filled, actually. And fill that one. And then you could cook a grand dinner. And let's see what we got going on here. What should we have? Mm, I think we'll do fish dinner since it's winter fest. We have plenty of um, turkey for um, harvest fest. So he's cleaning up. Thank you, Puddin'. Let's check on our lovely lady walking out her dog. Now, Queen Cupcake was Simone's very first pet who was a stray on the island in Brittleton Bay when she ran away from home after learning that her stepmother wanted bad ideas for her. Emilio, oh, excuse me. Emilio brought her out here where she stayed on the island for a while. She started her clinic there. She met Queen Cupcake first, adopted uh, Dakota, met Miguel um they dated got married her dad died she had Genesis and then they kind of went about their days until Trenton decided to meet up with Simone and telling her the truth about his death which she learned and went and took it out on Ivy Ivy who is now passed away let me see if her friendship lo loaded in she did. Ivy has passed away. Like I said, she got what did she deserved. Simone has her inheritance that her father wanted her to have. Simone finally has a lovely clinic that we are going to work on continuously. So like I said, when we do, when I do the current household, hopefully they will have another child. Her clinic will be at better standing. So like I said, because this, bruh, you and I haven't always gotten along, but maybe we can become friends. What do you say to dinner at Hacienda Fiesta? First of all, that I think is in Salvadorada, so that's a no. Second of all, you dated my stepmom while you were living in the house with my dad. You tried to warn me, but you were trifling on your own. No. And you knew how my stepdad went down. No. And you let Ivy take my daughter. No, granted, you didn't let Ivy take my daughter. Ivy took my daughter, you found out, and you let me know. But still, no. <laughs> okay there we go oh it's almost eight o'clock almost time for father winter Ooh, maybe we can go try for a baby right before father winter comes because i think she's heading back home let's see what he's doing oh he why are okay because you clearly did not make the grand meal i told you to make build mode because i'm i'm deleting that because right now you gotta go pee because nobody told you to drink any coffee. Ugh. And cook, grant, and then you put it on the floor? Ready. 
You didn't need the coffee, but I'm you gonna need it in a minute because I'm about to hurt you. Okay, are you heading back home, ma'am? You are. I hope you are enjoying this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's eight o'clock. Back home. Fireplace, fireplace, fireplace. Okay. Oh, we missed him load in. Father Winter is here and adding presents under the tree. Okay, come on, Genesis. Oh, you need to tinkle pudding. You didn't get a whole lot of rest, but it's okay. Um, Come and tinkle, and then we will go talk to Father Winter. Miguel, you're going to go ahead and make dinner. See, nobody's available to talk to Father Winter because nobody did what I asked. What are you doing? No. Miguel. Your child is well able. She is fine. Do not make me hurt you. Because all it is is a click away. <laughs> uh, okay, I did say I was trying not to get frustrated in this part, but I am. Okay, you are back. Where's Father Winter? Let's go talk to the homeboy. Where did he go? Oh, he's up here talking to my child. I told her that I love how my sons are not doing anything I ask in this part, but this is cute. That's why I said, what the hell is going on? What is my game doing to me? Let me get a cute screenshot of her with Father Winter. Hey, Puddin, you enjoying him? You having fun with Father Winter? I don't like how he made himself real comfortable, though. Like, you got in my daughter's room and just went and lay sitting on her bed, like, I don't appreciate that. Okay, let's ask him for a present since he walked all the way up here. Oh, no, I'm like, getting fight. Like, I didn't know toddlers can fight Father Winter. <laughs> Act for a present. And I still want you to go potty. See, she being whole rude to Father Winter. Like, ain't nobody tell you to come in my room. You might not get a present because you being mean to Father Winter. Okay, let's come up here and talk to him because, yeah, like I said, he's in your child's space. <sighs> come on. Uh, do a friendly introduction with Father Winter. Are you done, Miguel? You could have been done 20 minutes ago, but whatever. Can we hurry up? Because you're killing me right now, bruh. Because you have some decent cooking skill. You're taking a real long to make this fish dinner. And you maxed out gourmet cooking. Do we... And cook it. If you don't hurry this up. Okay. Um, let's see. Share Winterfest spirit with Father Winter. Oh, this door doesn't go down. What is... Can I... Ah, this last part is all over the place. Um... Hip bump Father Winter and let's see if we can get a gift. Don't knock out his hip. Ask for a present. Because what is Father Winter labeled as? Is he labeled as an elder? Or a young... Oh, he's labeled as an adult. Okay. So we won't knock his hip out. Hey. Oh, thank you, Father Winter. I appreciate it. <laughs> let's see. What did we get? London's Choice. What is that? I'm going to get... Oh, it's so... It's in household inventory. Okay, I have no idea what London choice is. You are still not done? Like, bruh. Well, it's all right, because it's not like anybody needs to eat at the current moment. And I think we will... Uh, oh, I wanted to try for a baby. Oh, All of this stuff is not going to happen. All right. Now, let's go ahead and open presents with everybody. Open presents with... There we go. The entire family. Simone, I kind of want you out of your... Um, out of cold weather wear. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Where are you going, Genesis? Oh, you were going back to bed. This part is all over the place. So much dramatics. 
Are you opening stuff already? What's going on? Where? What are you doing? Leave her. <gasps> Who gave Simone a clump of coal? Did Ivy sneak in a gift anyway? That's rude. Open presents. My sins are just glitching out. <sighs> Everybody, please just open some presents. That's all I wanted. <laughs> open presents. That's all I ask. Let's see, what did we get? Ooh, we got a child violin. Okay, hold on. That's a lot coming in. Fossilized egg. Okay. We doing good. We doing good. Oh, look at her looking her daddy. One last screenshot. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. It's such a head full. And I'm talking about trying for another baby. Okay. Ooh, in her space. Sorry, Simone. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, now she's heading off to bed. Um, let's share winter. F uh, 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 uh. You can go, Father Winter. Bye, bye. Ain't nobody asked you to be yelling at my dogs. What's your problem? Compliment her appearance. Like you doing a whole yeah. Bye. His cheek. Oh, they kind of matchy. I didn't intend for that, but it works. <laughs> oh, look at them. Please tell me you're going to go try for a baby. Ugh, you guys can never keep still. Um... Whisper seductively. So for the LP, we did not get to complete Simone's clinic of being five stars, but it was very complicated to even get it to the four stars we were. Um, we were not able to complete our aspiration, which I apologize for. I tried my best. Um, but, but this LP was kind of focused more on the personal story of Simone versus completing the aspiration. I did want to try to do it, but we didn't. And, oh, not him. I'm sorry. I forgot about him. Uh, where is it? Attempt to seduce. And let's see what else. Kiss his neck. Kiss her neck. I'm sorry. Forget I'm on him. All right. Suggestive romance. Um, kiss under missile. No, Simone. I cannot. One more time, please. Romance. Kiss under mistletoe. And then you guys can go try for a baby. And then I'm going to end this part because you guys are killing me. <laughs> and she's still going upstairs. And y'all are both tired. I'm sorry. I know it's been a long day with a toddler. Oh, it's cute. Suggestive, yes, there we go. Hold her hand. And let's go ahead and try for a baby with Simone. So like I was saying, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this LP. We had a bit of frustrations along the way with game glitches and my own issues. Um, I'm basically ending this LP because it's been a year and we got Get Famous coming out in a couple weeks. And I want to bring another LP for that. Um, Cats and Dogs was my very first Sims expan Pets expansion pack, so I've never experienced pets. I enjoyed this LP, and I enjoyed kind of expressing Simone's life outside of raising seven toddlers in a different way. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the LP. If you did, please go ahead and leave comments and suggestions and everything down below. Hit that like button because you know you want to. Subscribe if you haven't so you can be here for my Get Famous LP. And until next time, guys, bye.